Hello, my name is Pixelated Twix, and welcome back to Boundless. Welcome back to Boundless. Welcome to another episode of Workshop Wars. My name is Pixelated Twix, and yes, we are signing here at my workshop because I, as I promised, I would try to give you guys like brief updates Ryan of what's it's... going on in <laughs> my workshop, my personal workshop, because I guess it would just make sense. You know, we're doing a workshop wars. I'm showing you guys other people's workshop and why not show off mine? At least that's what the consensus is. I don't know why you guys want to see what's going on in my workshop because there's not a lot going on. I just being honest with you, there's totally not a lot going on. Um, you can see that it's really kind of in the same state that it was a couple weeks ago or the last time I did a workshop wars. How long ago was that? A long time ago. So, um, yeah, we're here looking at this, basically the same business. There's a few things that are going on in the background uh, or in the way back in the corner. Listen, I don't need you to be disrespectful while I'm recording. So we're going to go ahead and turn this off. Okay. So <laughs> we're going to go ahead and go ahead, uh, go over here in this corner here. We got this over here and this stuff over here in the corner. That's it. That's all y'all need to see. If you want. <laughs> that is really, that's all that's going on. I did have a couple details that I added. I think there was a vending machine. Yeah, I did. I, I added these over here. It is a vending machine, you know, vendor Tron. Hydrate. You always got to be hydrated, guys. Stay hydrated. Drink your water. Drink your juice. Whatever it is that you drink to stay hydrated, like coffee. Okay, not coffee. Coffee doesn't. Coffee doesn't hydrate. Coffee dehydrates. So don't listen to me. Don't. Don't. All right. So this is, honestly, it's the weirdest thing. It's the weirdest build in here yet. But I like it. I think it's probably, might be my favorite build uh, maybe not my favorite build. It's weird. It is really weird. It, it sticks out. It doesn't necessarily make a lot of sense with the rest of this build, but this is supposed to be a futuristic, um, dystopian uh, build. And even though this is like run down, there are no zoning uh, laws in the city or cyber uh, city. And so you're more than likely to get something like this sitting next to something like that so obviously someone that's living here will probably have a little more money than say somebody living um over here in the cyber city hotel right uh or somebody living in this penthouse suite that's hidden up here would have more money okay but they're right across the street from a garage i'm not done with that so don't look at that so yeah, this that's the idea behind this particular city. There are no zoning laws. And if you live in Houston, you know what I'm talking about because I used to live in Houston and there were no zoning laws and you would see things like this. So that's where I was kind of going with. And of course, there's not a great view here because you look out the window, what do you see? What do you see? Trash. Well, it's junkyard, but I want to I wanna put some trash here. A um, couple other things here you'll notice. This, there's a story behind this, okay? So if you look in this build, there is, you'll see that Pixel Tech Inc. is like the big brother of this city. So big brother, Pixel Tech, Pixel Tech, <laughs> use your vowels, Pixel Tech is watching, like big brother is watching. So everything you do, Pixel Tech, everything has Pixel Tech's name on it. So this person who works in this particular lab, um, working with uh, maybe fuel for new cybernetics, um, you know, would be watched by Big Brother, Big Brother Pixel Tech. So there are anarchists um, who are fighting against the tyranny of Pixel Tech. And uh, so they're trying to chip, of course, Pixel Tech is trying to chip everybody. Uh, but there are anarchists here in town and they're tagging things randomly. So this is, this is, this is vandalism. So they're tagging over here. They've got a tag right here. So wherever you see that, they're letting you know that they're fighting against the tyranny of Pixel Tech Inc. So that is the, uh, that is a little more lore 
in this story if you guys remember what was going on with the gears i did get a suggestion here by gregorio about um filling in this spot right here which i will this spot has or was it right here it's right here this big spot right here this was bothering me not gonna lie it was um i had plans for this spot but i didn't think that i would be able to execute it I still don't think that I'll be able to execute it, so I might just go ahead and go with his suggestion. Um, I might change a, a few things here, but anyways, that's enough of that. You've seen enough of that. I really don't like talking about myself too much, so. All right, let's head over to the first workshop, shall we? Welcome to M's Portal Hub. Uh, M Portal Hub is probably one of my favorites just because it has a story behind it as well. And I love a good lore story behind a build because you like to get into people's minds sometimes to see what they were thinking when they built something. Sometimes people just build just because they like to build. Some people actually have a whole story. I'm a writer, so that's what I do. I write stories. And so when M told me her story behind this, I was like, okay, I like this portal room all the more. Um, basically, it's really short. She just doesn't like, didn't like the perfection of it. And she just started tearing it down and making it look like it had been hit by something. So I actually like that. Anyways, I will be here because there is a workshop over here. Um, it is... It was over here. Here it is. <laughs> it was like, it's, it's over here somewhere. I'm not going to take the steps like a heathen. Uh, like the heathen I am. So I'm going to walk down here. This reminds me of Superman. I really like this entrance. This is so grand and so dramatic. Um, and this is so Vank because, yes, this is Vank's, uh, one of Vank's workshops. I showed you guys one of Vank's workshops the last time but he was still working on this one, I think I mentioned. And this one's really simplistic. It's not like the other one that he had. It was all big and dark and, and kind of creepy. Well, this is kind of another side of Vank, and Vank likes icy things, which really does go with his death type uh, personality as far as like um, building or aesthetic. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> So I'm just gonna take you on down here. And he's got like the elements going in the middle here. And then he's got biomes for his workshop. I like this as you step in because it's just so open and you can see under the water and it's got a beautiful view. And it's got the reflection of the workshop underwater. It just works. Uh, blends in well with the background. Okay, so he's got like the tundra over here for his extra tractor like the icy tundra that goes well with his entrance and over here he's got lava for or like what would he what would he call this what kind of biome i guess lava or like burn burn frozen for the compactor lush for the mixer and then over here he's got the desert biome for his refinery i like this idea like i said it's kind of simple um but very straightforward and still creative and you know he just said that he wanted something kind of simple for his second um workshop so yeah i like it really cool of course i love this entrance because you know it's just it's just cool kalel kind of the entrance right Okay, so let's head over to, there's a couple places that I have in mind, but there are also some tokens that I got. Oh, before I, I, I think, um, let me just say this before I, I go to the next, um, the next, what is that thing? The next workshop? Yeah, so let's go back in here really quick. Uh, I'm gonna try to keep it cute, keep it sweet. Um, okay, so this is the wrong portal. It is. <laughs> what am I doing? What What am I doing? All right, so this right here is where people have been dropping off tokens for me to check out other builds. But um, what I'm going to do is move that um, basket. Oh, I actually have a request basket set up over here. I just didn't need to put a sign here. But I'm going to move it right here so... Uh, it'll be out the way um, for now. I don't. I don't know if it's gonna stay there. Um, I was thinking about making like a separate build for it because why not be a little extra? I don't know. 
But yeah, for now, it's, um, you can still plop things in here. Um, and because I don't know when I'm actually going to move this. But just so you know, if this isn't here, when you walk through the portal, it's in the back. All right. So there you go. Anyway, so let's get back to the task at hand. Welcome to Javita's spot. Uh, Javita's and Kippy's retreat. <laughs> Let me make sure I get that correct. Um, so I've been meaning to show off Javita's workshop for a while now, and I don't even know why I didn't think about that. But just so you know, Javita has a sign here. Have a cool video idea or build to show off, feel free to share them. So if you have a cool video idea or something to, you know, a build to show off, let him know. Why did I have to repeat myself? I don't know. But anyways, his workshop, I don't know. It is so cool because Javita has, there's like no like specific rhyme or reason to the chaos that you're about to see. But he does it so well and I enjoy every single detail about his workshop. You walk in and there's this massive gem held up by these really cool chains and you can tell that he was trying new things. I love like the the whole like, uh, oh, what is that? Thanos type uh, reference. Maybe that's, I feel like that's what that is. Probably not, but that's what I feel like it might be. Um, but I love this. I've always wanted to try the chain thing, uh, the chain links, but I've seen that done quite a few times in the game um, by a few people and it just looks really good. It looks really cool, um, especially when it's holding up something like this very massive. Um, actually, Lancelot did that over in Tana before he reclaimed it and we moved over to Seth. He did that with a, a floating island that was coming off of a tower. It was, oh, it was, it was executed so well. But anyways, this is Javita's workshop. Um, yeah, so he's got a lot going on. We're probably going to spend a little time in here because there's a lot to see. Um, but I do recommend you trying to find this. I'm not going to give you the portal. I'm not going to tell you where the portal is. Um, I'll just tell you that it's on the Tula. If you know where it is, you know where it is. But um, I, you might be able to find it through um, the PS hubs. I don't know. So, yeah, this is where all the uh, action happens. He's got machines everywhere. Well, well placed. I don't know what it is about how he's got his workshop. But like I said, I just love it. You walk in and it, it looks like a mad scientist lives here, right? Like you walk through and it just makes sense to him. May not to you, but like you walk and you're like, okay, yeah, I could, I could see, I could see. And apparently he's the one that came up with the gear situation. Um, I did not know that. So I thought that I stole it from S HSC, but apparently HSC stole it from Javita. So there was a little story behind that. Uh, but you know, hey, there's always improvement on the wheel. And I like his his uh, gear just as much as I like HSC. So he's got some more machines. Over here. He's got a ton of machines. Look, they're all working too. He's, he's got something going on over here. I really hope he doesn't mind me being this workshop. I didn't even think to ask. So I think that he films a lot of his videos in here to kind of give tutorials and things like that. So that's what I was told, um, which kind of makes sense why he has things set up the way he does. Um, and if you do have questions about um, certain mechanics in the game, check out Javita's channel because he does have a lot of um, videos on like forging and um, why certain machines um, calculate the way they do, like the crystal mentor uh, and what, what the coils do and all this stuff. There's a lot of math behind it. Uh, I don't do numbers. I'm the creative type. So, uh, yeah, so he's, he's got some, he's got a lot going on. I mean, if we can go down here, and I'm going to tell you right now, um, Shira is a beast. But even down here, it can be a little much. There is a lot going on. I won't like show you the massive farm that he has. Look, 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 look at all the machines. Look at all the machines, you guys. 
Look at it. This is craziness. What is over here? So are these portals that are defunct? Yep, dormant, warp code. Okay, so down here is like all his farm. I'm not going down there, but you can go down there and check it out. It is huge. Like it goes on and on forever. Like the song that doesn't end. Crazy. So like I said, it kind of feels a little laggy to me. It may not um, look like that on the screen, but to me, to my eyes, it looks laggy. But I'm going to roll back up here and you can still see the continued continued machine storage the spark generators after spark generator what's over here i didn't know this was over here what is this what is this more machines more machines Ooh, looks like the beginnings of a tunnel yeah like i said there's no right oh be careful when you come in here be careful bring some grapples because you may get hurt um so yeah like i said always wanted to show this off always loved um coming to visit here like i would come here to visit is this a trap door let's see um, i got like my club grapples <laughs> it is okay so that is cool there's another one there okay this is so cool i love hidden you know me you know me i love hidden little secrets and stuff like that um but yeah if you can find his spot uh, by all means check it out if you've been here before <gasps> look at the christmas tree i think he owns half of batula or like three-fourths of batula um i do believe he does but look why didn't I notice that when I walked in? I can't, oh, that's because I came through here. This is cute. This is so cute. Okay. So, yeah. Um, by all means, come and check out Jafita's workshop. So, let's uh, head over to the next one. Let me tell you something. Um, there are just some planets in the game that when you hear, when you hear someone say it, it just doesn't click. Lutrion is one of those planets. I just don't go here very often. So when someone says Lutrion, I'm like, mm, I don't know her. I don't, I don't know Lutrion. But uh, this is where we're at right now, obviously. But I just the lower tier planets, for they just don't get the love that they deserve. And not all the time. I shouldn't say that because there are a lot of settlements that are on lower tier planets. It's just some are more popular than others i don't know if lutrion is not a popular planet i just don't go here but we're here and mall walker industries somebody's a wild player mall walker this is totally like a shadowlands reference i think i think oh so they they've got a they've got a workshop they've, they've got a workshop Oh, okay, so it's not workshop. I thought it was. My bad. All right, so we weren't actually here for this. We were here for this one, Firefly. So Firefly, Fire is one of the people that has been dropping up tokens for me, and as well as um, Rumpelstiltskin. So I just want to say thank you to Fire and Rumpelstiltskin for keeping the content for this channel going because sometimes I just don't want to run around and look for builds. I don't mind it, but sometimes I just don't have the time. And so I feel a little rushed. And uh, so having some tokens, some locations really, really helps. So thank you, Fire, for this. So we're going to go ahead and walk through fires. Walk through the fire. Uh -huh. Yeah, I said it. So, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so we're gonna walk through the fire. I kinda like this, I like this. The, okay, this is another take of the pyramid. You know that Foxel builders love their pyramid pyramids. This is another take on the pyramid. At least that's what it looks like to me. Um, but I like what you got going on. I really like these colors together with the Cephia and the, is it Cephia? See, I'm, I talk, I talk and I don't know. <laughs> um, 
you know what? Do I want to use my good totem? Nope, I don't. Hold on. Let me, let me. Yep. Okay. Sorry. Let me craft this real quick. Let me use my, my cheapo. So it's Ash and Tope um, with the the iron filigree. It looks good, right? These colors like blend in well, really well together. Ooh. Oh, wow. That was a pity, y'all. That was not me. I swear that was a pity story. Um, if you didn't hear it, don't worry about it. Mind your business. <laughs> so we're going to walk in here. Oh. Check out this bed. Oh, I'm jumping on your bed. Oh my gosh. This is the coolest bed I've ever seen in this game. It looks like a dwarf lives here. You ever play Dragon Age? If you ever play Dragon Age and you play the Origins, uh, Dragon Age Origins, and you play the Dwarf Origin, that's what that area reminds, like this bed would be so fitting for a dwarf. It looks so good. These chairs, look at the table. This is, I like this wall too. That's a nice wall. This is nice. This, ooh, check out the closet. Look at all that closet space. Ooh, it's a dresser. I like this dresser. I kind of wish we had doors that angled down. Or some curved doors. Curved doors, not dwarves. What? What? I don't, I don't know. This is really nice fire. Oh, look, it's a little twin size version. This is so good. For the closet. I never knew this was here. I like your color scheme. A little pop of color here. What color is this? I don't know. I really like this. So, okay, so there's the workshop. I just want to take a look around. Oh, are these like, are these like towels? Or like toilet paper, I don't know. Is this your basin? And the shower. I like the shower. Um, and this is the kitchen. Nice refrigerator. I'm all in your spot. All in your stuff. Cabinets. This is what people do when they come over to people's houses. Trash cans. Good idea. That's actually a really good idea. I might have to steal that. I'm so serious when I say that. I might have to steal that. Um, yeah. I might have to steal that. Like your sink. I really like this. What is this? Is this like a demolition man thing? Like, um, the, the three she sell, sea shells kind of? No, that's not what that is. Just me. Okay, we're gonna go into your workshop. Wait, I wanna check that out. Ooh. I like this. I really do. Okay, let's, okay. I was not expecting that. I thought that was glass. I was wrong. Okay, let's head into your workshop. It's very spacious. Um, so he's got a few of these line. Okay, I see what you've got going on here. I like these little safety bars. How come you didn't use it for the, okay, I see. So that little hole or massive hole in the middle of the bill leads down here. Okay, for the lazy, but see, that's, how is that lazy? How is that even lazy? Okay. I don't even know why I did that. This is, this, this just makes more sense to go through here rather than drown. Uh, okay, let me just, let me mind my business. <laughs> I like your storage area. Oh, I like this color. Ooh. Okay, you've got a lot of space down here. And I see how you follow the cave. Look at all that umbras. Look at all that money. All this expensive block. Not gonna lie, I like the monochrome look. I really like the monochrome look. It, it's very satisfying. Oh, you're also very twisted. Is that supposed to be spikes? Yeah, you're very twisted. Oh, that's, that is, very, very psychedelic. Okay. Yeah, I really am enjoying this monochrome look. I 
I can take it. I think I might see how that looks with white. Might be a bit too much. I think it probably works better with a darker color, like this here. What color is this? Turquoise? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Maintenance goo room. Um, goo room. Ooh. Very trippy again. Where does this go? To death? Okay. One day I'm going to try making goo myself. Or growing goo. I can't make it, but I can grow it. What's in here? Oh, that's trippy too. Whoa, that's a lot. That is a lot. That hurts my eyes. That hurts my eyes. Yeah, this is a quite spacious. Um, where am I at? Oh, I like that standard layer. Oh, I see what you did. Now oh, that's cool. I like that. Huh, okay. So let's head back up. What is this? Maintenance. Oh, okay, so this is behind your machines. Gotcha. And oh, this is another workshop. Or yeah, another workshop. Colors that look good together. Oh, I like that idea. Okay. Um. Oh, that's outside. I'm like, what? Where is that coming from? Okay, so, uh, fully cold crystal mentor. Mentor. <laughs> um, what's in here? Okay, this is where we came. Let's, let me even go this way. So more, more storage. Oh, door. Where's the store go? It's locked. Oh no. Oh. Okay. You gotta go something. Danger. Deep holes. Ooh, oh, this glass. Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. This is really cool. Gravel, silty, uh, what's down here? Okay, I see what you're saying. Is that, okay, I just gotta check. I don't wanna fall. I've already died once today. I do not want to die again. Um, yeah, I'm really digging the monochrome look. Can I go through here? Yeah. Really liking it. Okay. Ooh, purple section. This is purple and white. Okay. Yeah, I really like this. Thank you, Fire. Um, more deep holes. Okay, this is two. Okay. And this is to the... Okay, so I see what you did. Yeah. Really like this workshop. Um... It, it had me fooled a little bit. I walked in, I'm like, okay, nice size. And, and then it just, it just expands out like crazy. Uh, it's more storage, what's, what's down here? Okay, so this was the other part. Okay, okay, cool. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so we're gonna go back upstairs and I'm trying to think if I should show off one more um, workshop or not. I don't know, how long am I recording? Um, tell you what, let's go ahead and stop here. I think three workshops is enough. I don't want to go too crazy with it because I don't have a lot of workshops to go on. So I kind of want to spread it out a little bit more. But I do hope you guys enjoyed what I what we saw today. I really enjoyed I enjoyed it at least. So I'm hoping that you enjoyed it just as much as I did. But anyways, guys, I do thank you so, so much for watching the videos, commenting, sharing, subscribing. Um, you guys have been truly, truly supportive. And I'm grateful for that. So I hope you will continue to enjoy Workshop Wars and Hidden Gems and I'm trying to think of other things that I can do in Boundless. But I do have a review coming up. I'm going to work on that because I want, I've been playing this game for a couple years. I'm pretty sure I now have a good grasp on what I think about Boundless. Obviously, I like the game because I'm still playing it. But I do think that some improvements can be made. And we all know there's a little drum behind that. But I'm going to keep it drama free for this round. All right, guys. Until next time, I have been Pixelated Twix. She is Luna Shale. Ciao.